today we are going to see some questions on logarithm it will be helpful for the students who are going to do for the diploma examination so the question is taken from pre calculus page number 401 and question number 11 and there are three questions available is they are not simplification write each logarithmic equation in simplest form so log x square minus these are square numbers we must know one formula for this type of questions we know x square minus y square will be equal to x plus y times x minus y for example this number x square minus 25 can be written as x square minus 5 square so x square minus 5 square will be equal to x plus 5 based on this formula x minus 5 that's the only concept here so here law x square minus 5 square to the base 2 take out log to the base 2 we can take the 3 outside x minus 5 now we can apply the caution rule we know the caution rule log m to the base uh, we can say e minus log m to the base e will be equal to log m over n to the base e. So in this case log x square minus 5 square over 3 x minus 5 to the base 2 which can be written as a log we know already x square minus 5 square so the x plus 5 x minus 5 over here 3 x minus 5 to the base 2 now this and this cancel so finally we are getting x plus 5 over 3 to the base 2 this is the final simplified form Now let us go to the question number B. Question number B, the first part is quite similar to this formula, so I don't need to explain too much. So x minus 14, I can say x square minus 4 square will be equal to x plus 4 times x minus 4. The next one is a quadratic equation that should be simplified into two terms. So that is important. So first I will make it x square minus 2x minus 8. How you can factorize negative 8? The fact is I can say 4 times 2 uh, negative 4 times 2 negative 8 negative 4 plus 2 negative 2. So negative 2x can be written as negative 4x plus 2x. So x square minus 4x plus 2x instead of this 2x I change it into like this please understand the value didn't change minus 8 now we can take the first two per terms we can factorize take x outside x minus 4 plus now the second part take 2 outside so x minus 4 now you can see x minus 4 x minus 4 common term factorize x plus 2 Okay, now we are good. Log x square minus 16 can be written as x square minus 4 square over instead of this one uh, x square minus 2x minus 8 can be written as x minus 4 times x plus 2. So this can be written as x plus 4 times x plus 2 to the base 7. So log x plus 4 times x minus 4, this one, over x plus 4 times x plus 2 to the base 7. Now this term and this term will get cancelled and finally we got log x minus 4 x plus 2 to the base 7. So that is the final simplified form.
It's around steps. This also here, yeah, there are steps. The last one is two log x plus three to the base eight. Take out log. Okay. The first term there is no problem. The second term is a quadratic one, so we have to use the quadratic factorization. So x square plus plus x minus six. So here the coefficient is one. One times negative six, negative six. What are the suitable numbers? I can say three times negative two. Negative six, three plus negative two will be equal to one, this one. So x can be written as three x minus two x, this x. So that it will be easy for us to factorize. So x square plus 3x minus 2x minus 6. So the first two terms we can take x outside. So x plus 3. And the second last two terms we can take negative 2 outside. X. We need negative so we have to put plus 3. Negative 2 times 3 negative 6. Now we have x plus 3 x plus 3 we can take we can factorize x minus 2. Now we can start, write x square plus x minus 6 equal to x plus 3 times mm -hmm. x minus 2. Now we can go to the question part. These are our tips to solve the problem. Now, log, I can use the power rule to bring the power here x plus 3 to the power uh, square to the base 8 this one instead of this okay write one more step x square plus x minus 6 which can be written as log 8 x plus 3 whole square over i already put this is equal to this one x plus 3 times x minus 2. Now, this part and this one cancel. So now log x plus 3 over x minus 2 to the base 8. So this is the final form, final simplified form. So each question is we have to use the logarithmic rules. So in this case, we use logarithmic product rule and the quotient rule and also the power rule. That's all. Thank you for watching my video. Please subscribe to my channel so that you can see the new videos.